a no a, a decision that got overturned. So he can he can sit and call me out all he wants. I'm glad he calls me out, but he has no he has no team. A right team wouldn't put you in a situation like that. Or you, I don't have to call out people on three weeks notice no more. I got a team. So they they didn't even bring that to me. He says I turned him down, but it was never even offered to me because there's already a plan in place for my next fight, which I'm not even gonna talk about. There's something in place for my next couple fights that after this fight he got plans already. That's what a team does. So I'm not worried about Rosado. Keep doing your thing, keep getting cut, keep losing fights, and keep being the people's champ. I'm just gonna keep make, making money and keep going after championships, because that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, talk a little bit about Rosado, you, you touched on that a little bit. Uh, do you wanna talk about the war on Twitter? He went on Twitter obviously said that that you were ducking him, whatever the case may be. Man, any thoughts on or any response to, to something like that? Or you think he's just trying to get attention as far as um, what are you trying to get? Rosado is like a, a girl you broke up with that won't leave you alone. Like she can't she can't stop. It's like if you a world class fighter and your goal is to win championships, why are you bothering me? Like go 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 set yourself up a fight. Go get a couple wins. Like I don't know if this dude has won since 2011. I mean that's just the bottom line. The, the dude didn't win in 13. He didn't win in 12. He want to say, oh, I position myself as the number one uh, IBF, and then I went and fought somebody else. Well, then you didn't fight for the you fought for a title, but you lost. Every time I turn around, you on TV losing. And your last performance against Charlo was so shitty that I mean, dude, you gotta rebuild your career. My team didn't even bring me that fight. When when Laura pulled out, they gave me about three possible scenarios that's gonna happen. And he wasn't one of them. So I already got like guarantees of what's gonna happen in my next two to three fights. And he's not one of the options. So it was never even brought to me. So if it was turned down, it was something that they already knew that he's not even in the equation because he hasn't done nothing. If I'm asking for, if I fought K9 to beat him for a world championship, and in my very next fight, I asked for Carlos Molina, nobody wants to fight, and everybody knows he's a tough fighter. I lose my split decision to him, and the very next fight, I asked for uh, Laura, why the hell am I going to ask for Rosado? What has he done? Yeah. The Laura fight was already done, obviously, yeah. and you can't blame him for going on to you know, fight no, a guy exactly. like Canelo, right? Like I said, you can't blame him for going to fight. I, I'm not knocking him at all, because like I said, if I was him, I would have the same thing. Were you a little upset that you didn't get a chance to fight what a lot of people consider the top person at 154? Uh, 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 I was mad that I didn't get a chance to, to go after my second world title. Uh, being that him, being that it's him, it, it wouldn't matter who it is. I was mad that I wasn't able to get that strap, because that's what boxing is about, getting that strap and making enough money to feed your family, and he's doing that. So I can't, I can't really knock him. I'm upset about the strap, but I'm not upset that I don't get the chance to fight him because if he keep winning and I go out and do my thing, eventually we'll meet. That's the great thing about boxing. The important thing is that you still are fighting on May 2nd. What can we expect May 2nd? I know a lot of people don't know too much about your opponent. Uh, uh, for me to put on the show. Like I said, I'm not taking them lightly. Training very hard, uh, working very hard, and uh, I'm ready to go. Just switch from softball to regular is not going to be a problem. And uh, we're ready to go. We already put in a lot of work.